John here guys and today the video that we've all been waiting for the top five bind and fly toothpick class quads on the market today now before we get started on this list a few notes one why isn't this list 20 long there's quite a bit of bind and flies on the market today isn't there john why yes there is but you won't necessarily see every model under the sun on this channel. And the reason for that is, guys, I just don't have time to review everything. I want to show you the good stuff, the binding flies, the builds, the components, the beginner series. And so I've started to say no to different products more and more often when companies offer to send me them. And that's because I don't want to waste your time and I want to waste my time. If I don't think it's either the best or the cheapest or it's particularly popular in some way then i'm probably just going to say no why waste our time and that's because everybody wants either the best or everybody wants the cheapest that is actually good and i want to kind of focus on those areas if you want to see every little piece of garbage under the sun then go watch some of those other channels of people that can barely fly go watch that guy that just borrows his wife's blue craft mat and reads off measurements if you want an audiobook version of the manual. What a snooze fest. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm gonna give you five options. Make this list easy. Anything that doesn't appear on this list isn't necessarily garbage, but okay, it's garbage. So, uh, and then before we get into the list, one other note is that almost everything on the market today is exceptionally good. Even the last place on this list is so good that three years ago we would have killed for something like this. I remember flying these little Isheen brushed um, QX95 uh, varieties, uh, something that was so small you could fly anywhere and just dreaming of something that size that could do a power maneuver. These things really couldn't flip upside down or they just didn't have the power to keep themselves up in the air very well, but they were quite fun to fly. Um, these can do it. All these can do pretty much any move that you can do on your five inch in the palm of your hand for around 120, 130 dollars or less. So number five on the list is the Happy Model Sailfly. Now Happy Model has a long history of very scummy releases and it's still up to debate on whether you think they are damaging the industry and the FPV community on the whole. But one thing that is not debatable is their ability to put out a craft that has an exceptionally good flight feel for a low price. And well, the reason why they are so scummy is because they have exceptionally high failure rates that are just absolutely unacceptable to us as a community. We cannot stand for that, but the way that they fly is good. They know the recipe. Somebody over there is doing some work to make sure the model that lands in your hand, that lands in your hand, is going to fly very, very well. And so the sail fly is one of the later examples of that. And they're kind of starting to get the reliability a little bit better by this point. But some notes on why it's still not that good. One, the motors on pretty much all the happy model models are of an exceptionally low uh, quality. The Power just isn't quite as good as a lot of the other ones on the market, but more notable is that they are pretty prone to breaking the shaft, snapping the shaft. That's kind of what lowers them on that quality list. In addition to the poor motors, the frame is very thin and prone to cracking, and the 3D printed pod looks like it was printed from stale mashed potatoes. It is of the worst quality, but it's particularly cheap. You can get them sometimes for as low as $75, uh, which is why they're on the list, because a lot of people want the best, acceptably good flying quad for the cheapest price. And that gives them some points, guys. If you are one of the ones that actually gets one that can fly and doesn't explode in your hand on the first plug-in, you'll be rewarded by some particularly good FPV jollies. Number four on the list is Happy Model again, the Larva X. Now this has been lauded by many larger channels such as UV Futures as the greatest thing to bless us since Charpoo himself, FPV Jesus. And yeah, it's, it's not that, I mean, it's good. It's very good. It takes a lot of the shortcomings of the Sailfly and addresses them, it has a 
much better frame, a frame that I would trust for this size. It has a molded, injected molded canopy and actually comes with a second one. Uh, it still suffers from the same low quality motors. This one is actually, you know, throwing on some two and a half inch props, some uh, A-bands and some HQs come ship with this thing. It flies very good. It's locked in. It flies sort of like a racer to me. And uh, this one also comes with the Runcam Nano 2. That is the best camera on the market for this size craft. It is also plenty good of a camera for your five inch. It comes shipped if you buy the camera separate with a mount adapter that will allow you to run this on any frame that takes a micro camera. Uh, I really love that. I've been using it in some five inch lately. It's just an incredibly cheap, robust, uh, well-made camera that has a nice, nice image. And if you look hard on sale, you can get these for as low as 15 bucks lately. Wow. Can't believe you can get a good camera for 15 bucks. Amazing. Um, so that is the Larva X. Now, one note about the Larva X is that it has Happy Models less than stellar Diamond VTX, but that the Larva X comes shipped with the version that has the DVR on board. So that is one plus that none of the other five crafts on this list have. Uh, the DVR is quite a nice feature. I understand that it is not the most reliable thing and has some quality control issues that tend to plague everything about Happy Model, but if you get one that's working again, um, pretty good. I've seen this on sale as low as 90 to $95, depending on which receiver option you get. Uh, quite good, some very good fun. Third place is two things that I've actually not tried, and that is the GEP RC toothpick and the iFlight varieties, the iFlight uh, 120RS and the I believe there's a version two. <sighs> These are very good products, very good components. I would trust the iFlight slightly more. I've seen some quality control issues on that GEP RC board frying and a few things like that, but the iFlight team has been killing it lately. The gripe that I have with both of these models that they, is that they're both sort of an elongated freestyle uh, shape. And I really don't prefer that. I prefer these crafts to be as squished in as possible. And the reason for that, guys, is when you are building up a toothpick, you want it to be super, super small and compact. You don't need it to be stretched. When I have that stretched large footprint on a quad, on a full size five inch quad, it's because I want to freestyle with it. I want to have a large battery and an action camera at the front. And if you don't need those for these small class, then why make the dimensions like that? I, I just don't get it. But other than that, the quality of the components on board are exceptionally good. So I'd feel safe getting either one of those crafts. If I had to pick one out of the two, I'd probably go with the iFlight. And the, see, those to me are mid-range products, so I haven't really sought after them. I want either the totally best or the best acceptable that's cheapest. If anyone really wants an opinion on one of those, let me know and I can try to get one. So on to the top two, which one is it gonna be? The final two on the list are the Beta FPV HX100 and the Diatone Cube 229. Uh, both of these are exceptionally good. You can't really go wrong uh, with either one, um, but number two is the Beta FPV HX100. Now, this takes a very strong second place. It is essentially an upgraded version of Beta FPV's famously good Beta 75X quad that they took, took the ducks off, gave it a carbon fiber, uh, plates so that they could run 65 millimeter unducted props. They also took the very beta FPV shape of their canopy and upgraded it, giving you a very hard, solid, robust, durable canopy shape on here that is quite good. This also is outfitted with the Runcam Nano 2 camera again, and this has uh, beta FPV's. Uh, own flavor of video transmitter on board that is quite good. This is running their 1103 8000 kV motors that are tried and true and on 2S this is a lot of fun. 
Now the color scheme is quite sleek indeed. It looks like a little mini Darth Vader head floating around you, but I also tend to refer to this color scheme as the, guys, I lost my quad in short grass and I can't find it because it's all black. So if you do land this thing in the grass, it is exceptionally hard to find it. But, you know, really like it's so close that you're down to those little niggles uh, onto like which one of these is, uh, which one of these is gonna be the winner. So this is a very close second place. Flies so well. And then number one. The King, The Cube, The Gleaming The Cube, The Rubik's Cube. I mean, good Lord. Cubert. Is that why they made the top orange? I don't know. Uh, this thing just has a collection of parts that is unparalleled for this price point in this class. The frame was something that I initially thought was kind of odd uh, to design it like this, but now that I see it has a little bit of flex and rigidity at the same time, Perfect combination for this size and weight, and at 50 grams, you can comfortably fly this everywhere around your house and around yourself, not inside though, because it's probably too fast. Uh, again, it ships with the Runcam Nano 2. This one, part of what makes it first place on the list is that it has the Team Black Sheep Unify Pro Nano 32, one of the best video transmitters on the market for any size class quad even a full size. This is better than a lot of the video transmitters that comes on full size quads today. The Ditone Micro Nano Mamba Stack 16x16 is so beautiful to behold. It looks like it'd be a hard <laughs> time to build it up on your own, but it's very, very good. Um, and just the little touches of detail, the little polished um, in chamfered edges of the screws that come on here for the pod. Um, the, uh, the connector that comes already wired up for you to be able to wire your receiver on there so fast. You know, the way that they run the wires kind of on the inside of the little arms with some zip ties, it's just so clean. Um, the little specialized holder for the antenna at the back, uh, <laughs> the way that it has various ways to mount your antennas on the canopy and well ventilated. The quality of the print of this is light years ahead of what you get with the cell fly. And, uh, and it flies insanely well. I would definitely recommend the 10,000 KB version uh, of the motors for the 229. And if you get that, uh, you can run 300 milliamp 2S batteries all day, keeping it so light that you don't have to worry about crashing into anything. So don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing. And buy this one if you want the best. Uh, and speaking of that, these things are getting so cheap now that you can't build one for close to this price. If I wanted to build one of my own, of some of my own components, I'd spend 20, 30, 40, $50 more. It's just getting so hard to build nowadays and they're doing such a good job. Uh, man, um, it's just really hard to know what to do. Uh, but that's the list guys. What do you think in the bottom? What do you think the best, the biggest omission on the top five list was? Is there anything that I just totally left out? Uh, leave me in the comments and maybe I'll read them. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to read them. <laughs> and uh, who knows what's coming out next? What's going to, who's going to be the next um, company to come out with the very top models? So far, Diatone and iFlight are absolutely battling for domination here. And I would have to say that Diatone is winning in the micro scene but iFlight is absolutely crushing it on the five inch bind and fly end. So who is going to take total domination? Thanks guys.